boys who wandered out onto an icy lake are doing well tonight, thank goodness. One of their mothers telling Nine on Your Side late this evening that both are getting some rest. Uh, it's still a startling thought, though, of course, for the Brown County grandmother who discovered them out in this very lake right there. You can see the ice. Nine on Your Side's Julie O'Neill has more from her and the families who are very happy to have their children back tonight. Well, here's where it all happened. The sun shining on Lake Lorelei today because all is well after a heart pounding night in which two young boys came way too close to losing their lives. I just kept praying to God that he would help them. You can see over Lake Lorelei where Pamela Neville's son had jumped in a neighbor's boat to get to the eight and 11 year old who fell through the boat taking on water as he frantically busted through the ice with these oars. He and his mother using this extension cord and life vest to pull them to land. And the boys were crying out for help. Pamela Neville would never have heard them had she not stepped out to empty a carpet shampooer. I'm still very upset, but I'm, you know, I'm thankful that everything worked out the way it did. Chopper 9 gave you this view of the incredible rescue scene that ended with the boys flown to the hospital for hypothermia, both now released. One of the mothers telling Nine on Your Side, today they are both doing okay, thank God. I am still unsure as to what they were thinking about even going around water to play. Both moms reached out to Pamela. They both were so thankful, and I told them, it's nothing. That's what we're here to do. Pamela says she looks at the ticket from last night's Powerball on her table and smiles. I didn't hit the Powerball, but in so many ways, I've won so many millions with seeing those two boys alive and doing well. That is the jackpot. Pamela Neville tells me the Lake Lorelei community is already talking about plans to honor her and her family for their heroics. She's okay with that just so long as it calls attention to the danger out here. In Brown County, Julie O'Neill, 9 on your side.